Uh, these are all the parts required for making the house on fire or the uh, accident investigation or whatever you want to call it. Um, 40 black pegs, 10 blue pegs, uh, 8 of the little blue pegs, variety of lengths, 15s, 9s, 11s, large L's, small L's, um, two different types of connectors. Uh, both of these have got a plus base, but one of them's got a plus in the other direction, the other one's got a hole in the other direction. It's a pair of each of those. Uh, an axle, which is a 12 axle, and a funny shorter axle, a 9 axle with a flat end on it so it doesn't come out. Um, the only part that's of any question in here is um, one of the pieces is held in in place and I am not completely sure. I've seen two different versions of this model. One, one version uses this uh, three hole connector piece. Another version, another way to do this could be to use this handle piece. Another way to do this is to use a couple of these flat half plates that have pluses on each end. So depending on which of these three you have, uh, readily available, we can use either one and I'll show all three of them. All right, moving on. All right, so this is the piece we're making and it's fairly intricate. It's uh, basically a house, but it has a door flap that can open and close. Inside it has a rotating piece. One side is gonna be red and one side is gonna be white. And that's, the set, that's what your color sensor needs to measure. So we're gonna do this in sections. All right, we're gonna start by making the base. And we have to have two identical pieces for this. Uh, so we're going to collect a 15 beam, a small L, and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 beam. And we're going to make our base. So we're going to take a black peg, either end of this beam here. It's going to go here. And then we're going to take a black peg and a blue peg. A little blue plus, put that there. And then assemble these together. So it makes a single piece. Right, so there's our starting piece. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a back brace and a front vertical. So we're going to come in one hole at each end. That's our starting piece. And then we're going to add another black peg on the inside of either of those two. All right, this is the back. So I'm going to place this guy here. I'm going to take the three beam and place it at the front. All right, now that we've done that, I'm gonna take my another 15 beam. I'm gonna take two more black pegs. I'm gonna come into the fourth hole on each one. I'm gonna stick another one on top. So there's the first piece. So now we're gonna make a mirror image of that. Oopsie. So if you do our mirror image. Black at each end. Black at the end of here. Blue peg, attach them together. All right, then we're gonna put the blue peg one in from each end. And then a black on the inside of each of those. Put the three at the end. Put the black, put the white on top of that. A couple of black pegs in four spaces. All right, and then just to be ready for the next step, I'm gonna put a black peg at either end of this L here. There we go. And then I can join them together. I take a nine. All right, so that's the beginnings of our structure. This is the back, 
This is the open front. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside for a minute. All right, here are the pieces for the next stage. We're gonna make the lid of this box. So if you have a look at these pieces here, they have holes that are cut out on the bottom of the curve and then they have holes that are flat on the top of the curve. So we're gonna take two of those. We're gonna take these turtles and connect them together so that it looks like that. Then we're gonna flip it over and in the middle of each set of three holes, we're gonna put a peg. And then we can snap the next layer on. So there is the lid. So now I can take this here and I can add some more pegs and attach this. Now, if I want to, I can add the pegs to this piece. So I'm gonna put a peg on the end of each side. All right, you see this is symmetrical here because these gray connectors are either end. And I'm gonna put this so that the pegs at the back of these black ones that are already in there. And when I do that, you see at the back of the house, there's one empty hole. That's how you know you've done it correctly. So now we're ready to do the flap on the front of the house. Okay, so we are gonna do the flapping door in front of the house here. And we're gonna do it, we're gonna create the top and the bottom and then we're gonna connect them together. So, we're gonna start with our funny wing pieces here. And we need to connect them together. So we're gonna put two blue pegs. I'm gonna take a gray three beam, stick it in there and attach another one. So you notice that it makes a nice sort of flying wing shape, nice and symmetrical. Then we're gonna take four pegs and put them in the two inner holes on either side. Okay, and then we are going to take two of our L's and place them underneath. And the trick here is that the end of the long piece is gonna be flush with the end of the black piece here. So we're leaving two holes spare and pushing it in. And you'll notice that it's, we do the same on the other side. So two holes, two pegs, <coughs> and then it makes this top section. This is the top of the piece here. So then we're going to get a couple of uh, black pegs. I'm going to attach the center spacer, another three piece. All right, so I'm going to put that aside for a minute because that's the top piece done. Now I'm going to make the bottom piece. So I'm going to take our two nine beams, take a peg at either end, connect them together. That's our door. And now we're gonna attach some pieces just to block the visibility. So I'm gonna leave one hole spare, put that piece, put a, a peg, leave one hole spare, put another peg, and just fill that with a little three piece. And then I'm gonna take this little two piece and do the same thing, but the two piece has got a plus on one side. So I'm gonna put a plus in there, I'm gonna put a peg in there, and it's gonna fill up the hole. So now we have the base. So these two pieces kind of fit together with a hinge. So now we have to make the hinge. And the hinge is pretty easy. So we take each of these four pieces and we put a blue peg in them. So we put a blue peg in the long straight section of each one of them. All right. So then we're gonna use this axle with the flat on the end to join them all together. So first I'm gonna put in one of the ones that doesn't spin. Then I'm gonna put in, whoa, I'm gonna put in one of the ones that do spin. Then I'm gonna put the other spinny one in. Then I'm gonna put the one that doesn't spin. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my base piece and I'm gonna space these out so that the blue pegs on the ones that don't spin go in the holes. Then I'm gonna take my top piece and do the same on either side of the short beam. So now you can see I have a hinge piece that fits in there ever so nice. 
So now I'm just gonna build up my sides. So I need four pegs, blue pegs. I'm gonna put the short end in first, and then I'm gonna stick a three beam over it. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Put a three beam over it. And now this can fit right down on top of my side pieces. So now I have a flapping door that fills up the space nicely. So all I have left now to do is to do the center visible piece or invisible piece. So now to make the center divide or this, the, the, the danger not danger or the crime not crime piece of paper holder. And as I said, there's several different ways you can do this depending on what pieces you have available in your kit. You can either use the handle piece, which can either be black or gray. You can use a couple of these half pieces, half beams with a plus on either end and a blue peg, or you can use this black piece that has a plus on either end. Whatever you do, um, you need a plus at one end and a way to make a peg at the other end. So what we want to do is we want to have this axle. This is a 12, yes, go all the way in, but we need it to be held in place so it just doesn't spin like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take any one of these and I'll do, I'll do each one to show you. So this is the handle. So if I snap that on the top and push this in, you notice that now it's solid, it won't turn. Another way to do it would be to take this black piece, put a peg in it and slide it down the top like this. Or another way to do that would be to take these two gray pieces, put a peg in it, and slide it down the top. Okay, now what I've actually shown you is not really the way I want to do it. What I really want to do is have this piece on the inside. So for example, I'll use this one here as, a, as, an exponent, as a demo and I'll put it in on the inside and then I'll slide that in. I like it on the inside because that way it won't catch on anything. You see? I'll do one other one just to show. If I use this as handle, I'd put the little peg in there and then I'll slide this in like that. Okay? Once this is done, we need a full spacer, a half spacer, and then a full spacer. And this goes inside our house, not in the backmost hole, but in the second to back. And then we take this gear and we slide it on top and that's our handle. So if you have a look inside, you can see that this can turn. It doesn't hit the top of the house when it turns. That's because we put those two and a half spaces in there. And then the white and the red piece of the paper can be attached to either side of this. And here's an example. Here's the white piece of paper that be on one side and the red piece of paper on the other side. And that can be rubber banded in there with a black rubber band, or it can be hot glue gunned, or it can be double-sided taped or whatever it needs to, to keep that on there. And there we have our house.